Hello, um, good evening everybody, uh, Pete here. Um, this evening I've just tried to do a kit unboxing of something a little bit different. Um, with this IBG kit. I can tilt that down a little bit more. It's a Chevrolet, come on, sorry. Chevrolet truck. With a Holmes breakdown uh, tying assembly on the back of it, bit of glare there, but it's quite amazing, and it's in one seventy second. It's got must be close to two hundred odd parts, choice of two cabs, and with what's inside in the spare, it's just sort of got a spare chassis and another spare set of wheels. It's quite incredible. It's um got the front page of the instructions there and turn it over and there's another three frets sprues full of parts then you got your clear cutaway for the windscreen and some wire for the for the winch assembly and it's just done me in the amount of detail they they put in this these are the booms for the, for the winch and you make two of these for one either side. Look at the amount of parts and do. Oh, is that one of the legs? I think it's the boom arm. Huh? Just... And all this lot. It's all for the winch assembly. Yeah, it was the boom arms. It's just quite incredible. And like I said, there's a choice of two cabs in it. And in the spare parts, if we go back to there, all the lightly shaded parts are spare. So you've got two different leaf springs, another set of wheels and a chassis, plus a few ancillary parts. There's nothing on there. That's the conversion for the winch at the back. But with the, the choice of two cabs and the spares, you've nearly got two trucks in here. You just have to scratch a bed. You got engine detail, amazing, and the uh, you know axle and anti sway bar. That's two wheel drive. Is it four wheel drive? I've got two drive axles. Yeah, so it's four wheel drive without riggers. Oh, yeah, now the four wheel drive assembly and a PTO gearbox or splitter box, whatever it's called. Quite amazing. A couple of, um, I would assume they're North, North uh, ETO, Canadian Infantry Bay based in England at that time, so I assume 42 in England, Anglia in Polish, that's nice isn't it? And this one, the Canadians again over in uh, Normandy in 44. So it's quite, you know, just look what's in this box. I've cut the bags open to, because uh, I hate this cellophane, this noise is like Chalk down a blackboard, uh, whatever the, the thing you use in school to write on the wall with chalk. Look at the, the just part after part. And then in, in the uh, decal wrap, flip that over, and you've got both types of cab uh, windscreen to cut out. Plus you a bit of cable for the uh, winch assembly. And notice there's like several parts for the, the cranking handle on that. There's the wheels to use. If I can get up here. Oh, that's a bit fuzzy, isn't it? Hang on, let's find a backing piece. Bear with me. Use the box hood. Let's see how that changes things. Give it a... 
I don't know whether they're going to be the best wheels I've ever seen in my life or whether they're fine. Subtle nut detail down there. Lovely looking leaf springs, I must admit, they look nice. There's a little jerry cans and a one-piece chassis. A bit chunky, but most of that's going to be hidden under the truck, truck and you'll see the side parts of it. Um... I did notice on this sprue when I looked earlier that you've got uh, the outriggers. There's a choice of two, a stowed length, if you look at that length there, and compared to the outrigger there, that that length. So that's with it extended in the, in the sort of lifting position. And then this hook down here, I mean, at the size of it, I'm sure that's got a hole through it. See if that will adjust. Certainly be easy to whiz a little. Sure there's a hole in there. No, there is, look. Wow. Lovely little pin. It's just quite it really has blown me away. I mean look at this sprue. Try and move the other one. The and We've got the, the cab grill detail there. And I know from the lar doing the larger scale ones that there's a pattern difference between Fords and Chevrolets. Now, I can't remember which way round it is, but no little bow tie. I wonder if <laughs> maybe the next set in 170 seconds. I suppose they do do that. That's the other set of wheels that are not for use in this variety. And that, uh, oh yeah, that they are. How about that the different cab front there? That has got a Chevrolet bow tie. How about that? This is just quite awesome. There's an engine half. Straight six. I feel as though there should be music behind me. Cause I'm, I'm just totally blown away by this little model. And just such fine detail. No flash I can see or, or particularly glaring, you know, uh, ejector marks. But this is quite amazing. Some sort of winch part, I think. Can't really, there you go. Uh, details in that. Yeah, it looks like an eye on the end of some part of the winch, I should think. That's the main uh, framework behind the cab to support the winch. Can't see any, any horrible marks on that either. Wow, quite phenomenal. An amazing little truck kit. And that's about um, all I'm saying. I'm still experimenting with uh, this here uh, tablet, filming from the tablet, so I'm uh, knocking everything around at the moment. I'd like to thank Tim and Tom over there. Both helped me, uh, helped me along with a lot of advice. Good old boys. And that's my uh, quick look at this. I'm looking forward to building this. It's minuscule, but what finesse for a little kit. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it from jolly old England. Bye.